When your car gets towed, the state says some police are breaking the law. I don't think there's an excuse for this. He's right, there is no excuse. The result, now it's harder for you to find your car while the fines rack up. We found hundreds of cases. Probably more than that. And it's the same police departments over and over again. One, two, three, four. That's 16 pages worth of cases. Fees already racked up to, you know, $1,000. I think this is something the public should be concerned about. I'm Fox 13 investigative reporter Adam Herpetz. Tonight, we're looking at police paperwork and the impact it has on drivers when officers don't want to fill it out. The car in front of me slammed its brakes and after that, I just remember waking up at the hospital. Anthony Sanchez was driving in Weber County and considers himself lucky. This whole side of my body still hurts. Eventually, he will be able to drive again. There's a bruise across my chest, and then I have this on my chin. I have a broken nose, so my, my face is swollen. I think I hit the, the steering wheel, then the windshield. His story is like hundreds of others. The ambulance picked him up before the tow truck grabbed his car. He was just trying to stay alive, not worry about the bill. I didn't care about my car. I, I, I was worried about my kids if I was gonna leave them and not be in their lives anymore. When he got out, he had no idea where his car was. So he picked up the phone and started making calls. It took days. So do you know where it is now or do you have an idea? Or? Um, I'm not 100% sure. According to state law, he was supposed to get something in the mail before the impound fees racked up but that's only if police filled out the paperwork. No letters in the mail saying, hey, here's where your vehicle's been towed. None of that. And I have my mail checked every day. I appreciate what law enforcement does, but we, we have laws for a reason. I don't think there's an excuse for this. Senator Mike McKell sponsored a bill that changed the law last year, requiring police to fill out the form. He says it was a no-brainer. It's easy to fill out, it protects drivers, and most officers are doing it. This is every case so far. Okay. But when we showed him 573 complaints where the paperwork was not filled out, he got angry, especially because more than half of all cases are from the same three police departments. When I look at this list and, and when I see Salt Lake City has 110, West Valley City has its 124, I mean, that, that's pretty brazen. Ogden City, 61. Why do they think they're above following the law? According to the state tax commission, the actual number of cases is probably double or triple, but most don't know to report it. If you're ordering a vehicle to be taken to an impound lot, we don't really care the reason, we just need to know about it. Because ultimately, the person that suffers if you don't let us know about it is the owner of the vehicle. They're the ones who may end up having their car auctioned when because they can't find it. AMS, this is Angie. Tow companies are usually the ones filing complaints. They're not happy with police either. Their lots are getting full. They don't want to do the extra paperwork. You have some that I think are very arrogant and they think they're above it. I think they're lazy. Earlier this year, she recorded this phone call with the Layton Police Department. Watch and listen to what Officer Bruce Armstrong said when she asked for a copy of the state required form. I hope you've never got one from us. Um, you should, because the law changed in October and we're supposed to get one with every single one. We've never done one. I don't know why he would say that. Our records show just seven complaints against Leighton PD. The department says that's because they now do fill out the paperwork every time. What we did not anticipate was the downstream effect sometimes of the situations where we didn't do the form. We're not digging our heels in and refusing to do this. Imagine I take five crashes a day and I've got to stop what I'm doing and do an impound form on every single mm -hmm. crash. This is like bad. To respond to his question, do I want all five filled out? Yes. If there's a tow and law enforcement is involved, the form should be filled out every single time. That, that, that's the whole point. Senator McKell, the tow companies, and the state are all quick to point out. The form is only half a page. 
I don't think it's that big of a deal to fill them out. We just need to know that the vehicle's been towed. So far, Ogden PD has not responded. Salt Lake City PD says it will review each case and that the state is not properly counting them. When we asked West Valley City for an explanation, a spokesperson for Chief Colleen Jacobs said, just because the police call for a tow company doesn't necessarily make it a police requested tow. Why do they not want consumers to know where their car is? This is data that, that I'm going to take and I'm going to get some answers to. Everybody should know where their vehicle goes. There are some good officers out there, but the majority of them that I've ran into, it just seems like they're out to get you. Next year, the state could change the law to make the paperwork even more simple for police to fill out. But in the meantime, state lawmakers say they expect every police department to follow the law the way it is right now. If you'd like to see a full list of cases, it is on our website, fox13now.com. Reporting in West Valley, Adam Herpetz, Fox 13 News, Utah.